Hi guys, Lori here. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler review of the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. The first book is Clockwork Angel, the second book is Clockwork Prince, and the third book is Clockwork Princess. I really, really adored this series. Um, I gave all books five stars. Book one was a little bit on the weaker side, but that is normally the case when you're developing a world as you're doing in the first book of a series, Which so I gave it a little bit of slack. It was a little bit slower than the other two books, but it was it was important to think. It was it was good. You have to develop characters, and that I think is a key. Um, but I really adored the triangle. I have never read a triangle like this. I would even go far as saying this is one of the best young literature triangles, young adult romance triangles I've ever read. It just blew me away. It was so complicated, and I it wasn't like a good guy and a bad guy, which I always get mad in those triangles, but this was just, they were both such good guys, and they both had so much love in their hearts, and it was just so interesting. Up until the very end, I didn't know who I wanted her with. I kept flipping back and forth between Will and Jem and Will and Jem. I loved how she ended it. Um, I really did. I thought that it was, it was brilliant how she was with Will her whole life, and then she was with Jem, and I thought that that was just really interesting. I hope in the future we'll see more of their relationship. I know that there's two more series coming, and I wonder if we'll get to see a little bit more of um, Will, Jem, and Tessa, or the other characters that are introduced into the series. Um, I was really glad that I read this series before I read Clockwork, I mean, before I finished the um, City of Bone Mortal Instruments series. Um, because I know now what Jem's character represents in that, and that's just so awesome. I love how she put that in, and I, I didn't see that coming, so I'm really excited to see what his part is. The end of the prologue, the prologue, the epilogue may, makes you think that there was a little bit more to that story, and I would love to get my hands on it. So hopefully I'll get to read that book soon. Um, in addition to the triangle, which I thought was really, really fascinating, I also really love the, um, side, the side characters and side plots. I love the relationship of Gideon and Sophia. Um, I will link my predictions on Clockwork Princess and my review of Clockwork Prince below. Um, I did take, I, I did talk a lot about them there, but it was just, it was such a cool ending. I love how she finally was able to become a Shadow Hunter, which I think she's always wanted, and how Gideon was so supportive. I love the development of, of um, Gabriel and Cecily's relationship, and they just, they fit so well together, and I thought that that was really interesting. I didn't expect that to like it in the second book, but I really grew to like it in the last book. Um... I also was really interested to see where the Lightwoods developed and where they went to um, because they are so, so upstanding in the Mortal Instrument series and that was really interesting. I hope we get to see more of them too in the subsequent series in this world. Um, but yeah, my fave book plot-wise was book three, Clockwork Princess, because I just think it, it tied up the plot so nicely and everything made sense and there was like... It was like tied in a, a neat little bow in a sense, but you know that there's so much more to tell you. So it was tied off nicely. I really want to know more about Jem, Tessa, and Will, but I'm okay if this is where it ends. Um, but my favorite book character-wise was definitely book two. I thought that it was so interesting, the development of Will, finding out that he didn't really have a curse and his curse was self-inflicted. And that's even more sometimes dangerous or scary than having a curse put on you because it's all you're in your own head and you make it. He cut himself off from his whole entire family and that was just such an interesting twist. I love the Desimé thing. It was so sad when she died though. That was that kind of made me sad. Um, but her undisputed love and animation of me really is what destroyed her. Um, but I love the discussion of women rights and male rights in this world, especially where in reference to shadow hunters. I love the presence of letters that was used in the last book as like a start and end of chapter. I thought that that was a very interesting way to give you more information, which is not, which, which didn't necessarily have to deal with the plot directly, but it still kept you apprised of things of outside the core world, which I thought was a very interesting writing technique. I'd love to see more of that, Cassandra Clare. That was actually really interesting. Um, but yeah, the plot was just interesting. I love the magic. I love learning more about the Parabate connection between Will and Jem, how it was destroyed and how it really gut-wrenched Will, and then to learn that Jem really wasn't dead, or he was, but he was a silent brother. It was just really, really interesting. Um, I can't speak enough about this series. Um, I really adored it. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to link my reviews below of the, first, of the second book in the series. I'm going to put my Goodreads, my Twitter, my um, book blog thing below. 
you guys have any comments or wanted to talk about it, you guys can comment below and I will try to answer you back in a quick and speedy fashion. Thank you very much and happy reading everyone.